It's time to get acquainted with the world's fastest Navy ships, with the top one being the fastest that can literally fly off the water. In this world where much is at stake, speed is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Countries invest a lot of money to create the fastest and most agile ships at sea. Just think about it. In the heat of battle, a slow ship stands little chance against a fast opponent. What are the fastest Navy ships and which country do they belong to? Number 10. The USS Freedom Let's kick things off with the USS Freedom, LCS-1, a dazzling star in the fleet of modern combat ships. Crafted by the masterminds at Lockheed Martin, the USS Freedom is a nautical powerhouse, merging the stealth of a ninja with the swiftness of a cheetah. With a top speed of 45 knots, this ship definitely packs a punch in terms of speed. This ship is a jack-of-all-trades in the naval world. Adept at anti-pirate maneuvers, swift interceptions, and even lending a helping hand in humanitarian crises. Its design is a thing of beauty and function, a semi-planing monohull with an aluminum superstructure that gleams under the sun, making it as stealthy as it is speedy. You can look at it as a ship so versatile it can switch from chasing down rogue vessels to conducting delicate rescue operations, all while maintaining its elusive charm the best of both worlds. Bear in mind that speed is undoubtedly important, but what good is speed if it compromises other essential aspects of a combat ship? For this reason, the USS Freedom is equipped with advanced sensors, communication systems, and combat management capabilities that enhance its situational awareness, intelligence gathering, and decision-making capabilities. Number 9. The USS Independence Steering away from the unique history of the USS Freedom, we now set our sights on the USS Independence, a modern marvel in the realm of high-speed literal combat ships. Unlike its predecessors, the Independence represents a significant leap in naval architecture and combat capabilities, designed for fast-paced demands of contemporary naval warfare. The USS Independence, built by Austell USA in Alabama, is an embodiment of modern naval innovation. In the realm of naval warfare, this vessel is like a sprinter, boasting an impressive top speed of 45 knots. However, its capabilities extend far beyond pure velocity. With a sustained speed of 44 knots and an extensive range of 3,500 nautical miles, it stands alone in its class. The ship's value lies not only in its speed, but also in its strategic adaptability, as it is specifically designed for a range of missions, including anti-pirate operations interception support, and aircraft carrier assistance. The USS Independence stands out with its stealthy design, which is not just for aesthetics but serves a functional purpose in reducing its radar profile. This feature, coupled with its speed and range, makes the Independence a formidable asset in literal nearshore environments where agility and stealth are key. Its impressive displacement of 3,500 metric tons also speaks to its robustness and capability to handle a variety of missions. What's interesting is that the Independence is a fully operational combat ship, reflecting the culmination of lessons learned from previous high-speed naval vessels. It symbolizes the unwavering dedication of the United States Navy to innovation and progressive design, guaranteeing its continued significance and efficiency in various maritime missions. This remarkable vessel serves as a testament to the advancements in naval technology, where velocity, nimbleness, and concealment intersect to form a state-of-the-art warship perfectly suited for the demands of the modern era. Number 8. The USS Flagstaff Now we encounter the USS Flagstaff, PGH-1, a singular creation in the American Navy's exploration of hydrofoil technology. The Flagstaff was unique, not just in its class, but also in its journey, marked by both impressive capabilities and challenging setbacks. This ship, with a top speed of 50 knots, was designed for rapid response and high-speed maneuvers. Its sustained speed of 48 knots made it particularly effective for anti-smuggling operations and intercepting suspicious vessels, as noted during its tenure with the Coast Guard. Despite its relatively light displacement of 68 tons at full load, the Flagstaff's performance in these roles was commendable, echoing the high-speed interception prowess of many other ships in the U.S. Navy. However, the USS Flagstaff's journey was not without its challenges. 
After a brief service in Vietnam and the Pacific Fleet, the hydrofoil encountered issues with faulty equipment and the need for an overhaul. Its time with the Coast Guard highlighted its potential, especially in anti-smuggling operations, but also revealed operational complexities and maintenance difficulties. The vessel was more like an experimental trial than a bolstered traditional ship, especially in terms of its wiring systems and mechanical intricacies. Ultimately, the USS Flagstaff was retired in 1978, but its story serves as an important chapter in the US Navy's hydrofoil experiments, leading up to the development of the Pegasus class, which we'll discuss next. Anyway, Flagstaff's tale is a reminder of the delicate balance between innovation and practicality in naval engineering, where the pursuit of speed and agility must be weighed against the reliability and maintenance considerations. Number 7. Pegasus Class Hydrofoils From the versatile prowess of the USS Flagstaff, we now turn back the pages of naval history to the Pegasus Class Hydrofoils. Designed by Boeing for the U.S. Navy, these hydrofoils were a game-changer in their time. Primarily intended for NATO operations, they represented a significant step in naval technology, predating modern marvels like the USS Freedom and Independence. The Pegasus class, operational from 1977 to 1993, boasted a top speed of 50 knots, which was quite impressive for its time. These hydrofoils were not just fast, they were also technologically advanced featuring a combination of one GE gas turbine for high-speed foil-borne movement and two diesel engines for regular hull-borne travel. With a displacement of 241 tons at full load and a range of 350 nautical miles at 40 knots, they were built for both speed and endurance. But the Pegasus class was more than just numbers. It packed a significant punch for its size, equipped with a formidable armament including eight harpoon missiles and a 76 Auto Malera gun. Its design allowed for excellent seakeeping and the ability to maintain high speed even in rough sea states. However, the Pegasus class had its constraints. Despite its potential and capabilities, it faced challenges and in integration into the broader Navy missions and strategies. The Pegasus class hydrofoils, in retrospect, offer a fascinating study of naval innovation and the challenges of integrating unconventional vessels into a traditional fleet. Their story raises questions about the balance between technological advancement and practical utility in naval warfare, a theme that resonates with the development and deployment of modern fast attack craft. Number 6. Interceptor DV-15 RWS Leaving the high-tech world of the Pegasus-class hydrofoils, we now shift our focus to the Interceptor DV-15 RWS. In its early days, this craft was a go-to choice for high-speed interception. The interceptor DV-15 RWS, hailing from Abu Dhabi, boasts a top speed that breaks the 50-plus knot barrier, making it a formidable player in high-speed pursuits and tactical operations. Far from any ordinary boat, it's a maritime sentinel, adept at piracy control, anti-smuggling operations, and active patrolling. On top of all that, it has a range of 350 nautical miles at a steady 40 knots. This craft is all about versatility and rapid response. Armed with an extensive arsenal consisting of formidable machine guns and an assortment of missile systems, the DV-15 RWS possesses the necessary resources to effectively tackle any obstacle encountered on open water. This vessel goes beyond mere defense. It actively discourages potential threats See it as the vigilant protector of the seas, perpetually equipped to swiftly engage in action whenever the need arises. Plus, its sophisticated design and arsenal make the DV-15 RWS a key player in maintaining naval dominance and ensuring security on the high seas. As we zip through the realm of the fastest ships, we're eager to see where our viewers are anchored. Which country are you tuning in from? Tell us in the comments and showcase the reach of our global community. And while you're at it, we'd love to have you join our channel as a member. This will not only help us continue to bring you the best videos about the US Navy, but also serve as a tribute to all the veterans who tune into our videos. Thank you for your service, each and every one of you. Simply click the link in the description or go to our homepage and select join. Thank you. At number five, Barracuda XSV-17. 
We've now entered the top five, which simply means that these ships are about to get even quicker. Next on our high-speed naval journey is the Barracuda XSV-17, hailing from Ireland. This vessel is a maritime marvel that combines speed with exceptional sea handling capabilities. Imagine a ship that can slice through 20-foot waves like a hot knife through butter, maintaining its operation and composure. That's the Barracuda XSV-17 for you, a true wave-piercing phenomenon. With a top speed of 60 knots and a sustained speed of over 45 knots, the Barracuda is not just fast, it's relentless. This 17-meter speed demon is an interceptor pursuit vessel that redefines what it means to be a high-speed, low-radar cross-section craft. It's designed for the tough jobs, from patrolling and surveillance around harbors and offshore installations to high-speed pursuits and apprehensions. Think of it as the SWAT team of the sea, only faster and stealthier. And with its advanced navigation and sonar equipment, not to mention FLIR thermal and night vision infrared cameras, the Barracuda XSV-17 is undoubtedly not one to mess with. Number 4. Skilled Class Corvette Moving on from the historic speed of the Barracuda, let's head over to Norway for a look at the Skilled Class Corvette. In simple words, this ship was the maritime equivalent of the fastest runner on the track. Skilled, meaning shield in Norwegian, perfectly embodies what these ships are all about. Speed, stealth, and strength. Think of them as the stealthy ninjas of the seas, only a lot bigger and with crazy missiles. The skilled class Corvette boasts a top speed that cruises over 60 knots in calm seas. And this Sprinter has a sustained speed of 40 knots. With six of these vessels built, the Royal Norwegian Navy has a fleet that's not just fast, but also formidable. Something interesting to note is that the skilled design utilizes a unique surface effect with a fan-blown skirted compartment between two rigid catamaran-type hulls. This isn't just innovative, it's like reinventing the wheel, but for ships. But speed isn't the only trick up its sleeve. The skilled class is all about stealth, too. With anechoa coatings and radar-absorbent materials integrated into their structure, these ships can quietly and invisibly maneuver like ghosts on the water. And let's not forget their firepower equipped with missiles that can make any enemy think twice. In 2020, the Norwegian government decided to upgrade these vessels, ensuring that they stay ahead of the curve until at least 2030. So while they may no longer be absolute fastests, the skilled class corvettes remain the speed kings of combat ships, ruling the waves with a combination of velocity, stealth, and power. At number 3, the HMCS Broad Door. And now, the top three fastest Navy ships known to mankind. After the technological marvel of the skilled class Corvette, our list takes us to a historical gem, the HMCS Brador from Canada. With a top speed of 63 knots, the Brador wasn't just sailing, it was practically flying across the water, setting a standard that remains unbeaten. It's like that one legendary athlete whose records stand long after they've retired. The HMCS Brador was that athlete in the naval world. However, as the saying goes, every pleasant experience eventually reaches its conclusion. In 1971, right when the Brador was flourishing, it became necessary to bid farewell due to limitations in resources. It's akin to constructing the most high-speed automobile imaginable, only to realize that the cost of fuel is beyond your means. Now resting in a museum in Quebec, the HMCS Brador might not be cruising the waves anymore, but it still stands as a symbol of innovation and a reminder that sometimes the boldest ideas need just a bit more than ambition to stay afloat. But the fact that this ship almost touched the 75 mile an hour mark goes to show how advanced it was for its time. And as we wave goodbye to the trailblazing HMCS Brador, let's not forget the ripples it left behind in the naval world. Number 2. WP-18 Hold on to your hats, and maybe even fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to zoom over to Abu Dhabi once again, where maritime innovation meets extreme velocity. Here, in the realm of sleek designs and roaring engines, we find the WP-18, a marvel that's causing quite a commotion. This Special Forces Interceptor, fresh from the innovative minds at Abu Dhabi MAR, 
is redefining what it means to be a high-speed craft on the water. With a top speed that smirks at 65 knots, the WP-18 isn't just breaking speed records, it's shattering expectations. Its sustained speed of 47 knots lets it glide over turbulent waters with ease and grace like a swan on a tranquil lake. The WP-18's design is more than simple aesthetic pleasure, it's a master stroke of engineering, slicing through the ocean's moods with effortless grace and precision. At number 1, the A-90 Orleanoc. Meet the A-90 Orleanoc, an ecrano plan that realistically blurred the lines between sea and sky. Born from the visionary mind of Rostislav Evgenovich Alexeyev, this Soviet-era marvel transcended the definition of a mere vehicle. It was a bold leap into the future of marine and air transport. With its sleek metallic body stretching an impressive 58.1 meters in length and a wingspan spanning 31.5 meters, the Orleonoc commanded attention as it gracefully glided meters above the water surface, hitting two birds with one stone by showcasing an aircraft's agility while displaying the might of a naval ship. However, the Orleonox allure extended far beyond its striking appearance. What truly set it apart was its remarkable amphibious nature. Designed to effortlessly transition from sea to shore, this engineering gem was equipped with wheels for land operations, making it one of the most versatile crafts at the time. Unmatched in efficiency, it harnessed the formidable power of the Kuznetsov NK-11 turboprop engine renowned as the most potent in its class, complemented by two turbofan engines located at the front. This combination of engines propelled the colossal Crano plan to astonishing speeds of a little more than 250 miles per hour. To really highlight how incredible that was, today's road-legal hypercars from automakers like Koenigsegg and Bugatti match that speed. The fact that the Orleanoc had retired back in 1993 goes to show how ahead of the time its speed really was. And what's even more bizarre was its ability to transport either 150 personnel or an astounding cargo load of 28,000 kilograms. But of course, the Orleanox functionality extended beyond transportation. It was designed as a strategic tool for beach assaults, capable of rapid troop deployment and quick equipment disembarkation. Its unique design allowed the front end to open for swift offloading, highlighting its role not just as a transport vessel, but as a key asset in naval operations. Though only five were ever built, the A-90 Orleanoc remains a symbol of innovation, challenging the conventional boundaries of marine and aerospace technology. But wait, there's more to this Soviet-era masterpiece than just its draw-dropping speed and amphibious capabilities. The Orleanoc was a Swiss army knife in the world of Ekrano plans. Also, its cavernous belly, with its vast expanse capable of swallowing trucks, artillery, and troops alike, solidified the A-90 Orleanoc as an indispensable asset in military operations. This extraordinary feature allowed for the rapid and efficient deployment of heavy weaponry, armored vehicles, and personnel to the most critical and inaccessible locations. It's also worth mentioning that beyond its capability to transport heavy machinery, the Orleanoc could essentially serve as a floating base for military operations. As you can tell, this was one hell of a craft, and it's been rumored that certain navies of the world are currently working to bring a modern and more advanced version of the Orleanoc back in service. These are just rumors, but here's a question for you. Do you think the navies of the world are secretly working on ships and vessels away from the public eye? Are there certain technology navies possess that maybe nobody's aware of? What are your opinions on this? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, we kindly ask you to show your support by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and motivates us to continue creating entertaining and educational content on the US Navy and other maritime topics. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for your support. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. I'll see you in the next one.